All right, thank you, Rob. New details this morning. We now know where the kids at a juvenile detention center in Madison will be transferred to this morning. Now, this comes one week after Madison City Council revoked Sequel's business license and gave them just seven days to close. Madison City, Madison City residents rather urged the council to not renew the license because of security issues there at the facility and multiple escapes. We received a statement from the Department of Youth Services explaining where those juveniles will now be moved to and Way 31. Once Casey Albritton is live with what we know about their future this morning. Casey. Those 51 teens are scheduled to move the, from the building right behind me to different areas across the state. And the Department of Youth Services says because they were given a seven day deadline, they're not able to move the program here at SEQUEL, but instead they're having to move each individual kid. Officials say they have been working on the placement since last Thursday. Youth services say some of the kids were close to being done at SEQUEL, so they will now go home. Some were ready for a step down program and they will go to group homes, and others will be moved to other campuses across the state. Officials say one program is being moved from the DYS VACA campus to the Mount Meigs campus to make room for the kids leaving SEQUEL. SEQUEL released a statement saying they are working closely with the state to make the transition as smooth as possible given the seven day deadline. The Department of Youth Services says they are moving each individual teen based off of their individual needs, and I'll be out here all morning long uh, to see when those kids are moving out this morning. Reporting live in Madison, Casey Albright and Way 31 News.